All right, we're going to dive into lesson 1.1, and we're going to talk about mortgages, finding monthly payments, right? What is a mortgage? A loan to finance a purchase of real estate, usually with specified payment periods and interest rates, okay? Um, so what's the monthly payment? These are formulas that you want to have on your study sheet, all right? So study sheet material, anything that's boxed in pretty much, you, you can... You, you you will it's a safe bet that you should add that to your study sheet okay uh, monthly payment is amount borrowed times the table rate over a thousand okay what is the table rate it's gonna come from this table and here's another term amortization and it's gonna come up later in our notes too amortization is basically how long how long are you taking to pay off your mortgage? And usually they go, the most common amortization period or length of, you know, repayment is 25 years. Uh, it has gone up. I know it goes to, you know, 30 years. Some banks offer that, but for the most part, we stay between the 20 and 25 year range, even though that changes it's whatever you're you're gonna you're gonna be offered or whatever the question is gonna tell you and notice that it says it's a blended payment of principal and interest so every payment has principal and interest blended into it right so uh, I'll explain that a little further too and this is per thousand dollars of loan that's where the divided by a thousand comes from and this is the table rate. The table rate is you have to grab the correct value from this chart. And notice all you need to do really is to match the interest rate with the amortization period. So let's say it's a 10 year mortgage at 3%, right? And you would cross over here and just go down and select that value right there, 9.65, right? So it's basically just connecting connecting two points, right? You've got your amortization and your interest rate that give you that, I you get that value. Now I want you to already understand something here because I will ask this uh, down the road, okay? Notice that um, look at just the value here at the top. Let's follow these values. What do you notice as the amortization period is increasing? As the amortization period is increasing, what do you notice to the amounts? Right? You start at 1731, 898, 621, 482, 4 dollars. So the longer you take to pay, the lower that monthly amount the monthly payment will become okay so that's one thing that you know that if you increase the amortization period your your payment will decrease right so it's an inverse relationship amortization goes up payment goes down right um another thing here that i want you to observe is what happens to the payment let's just stick with five years what happens to the monthly payment as the interest rate increases? As you can tell, it's increasing as well. So that's a direct relationship, okay? So as the interest rate goes up, that is probably something you can wrap your head around. Both of them are increasing, okay? So if the, in if the amortization period goes up, the payment goes down. If the interest rate goes up, the payment goes up as well, okay? So sometimes the we ask you like, how could how could so and so decrease the monthly payment? Well, it's simply by increasing the amortization period or decreasing the interest rate or shopping for a lower interest rate. Right? So we'll we'll talk about that. All right, monthly interest paid. It's the uh, mortgage owed or the amount owing times the interest rate uh, divided by 12. This is also called interest for the first month's payment, 
Remember we did that in vehicle finance? So this is interest, interest on the first month's payment. And I'm going a little slower here because I want to make sure you understand what's happening here. So this is the interest on the first month's payment is also calculated here. The interest rate is not gone, taken from the table. Some students go get it. That's the interest rate that you'll be given. It'll be like 3.25%, 6.75%, you name it. Principal is monthly payment minus the interest paid. So every... It's basically here, you, you calculated the monthly payment. That monthly payment is blended, right? It is, it is made out of two portions, right? The principal and the interest. These two always add up to your monthly payment, okay? So to calculate the principal, like this portion here, you would just take the payment, subtract the interest, and then get the principal out of that, right? So it's kind of like that's that's how this trifecta goes here, okay? And uh, so this interest paid is taken from here, and the monthly payment is taken from the formula you calculated here. So it's basically subtracting these two gives you the principal portion, and the principal portion is what actually goes to pay off how much you owe, okay? Um, total interest paid and there this is very important that you understand is the total interest paid this is like over the lifetime not just if it's just asking you for the interest paid on the first month you use this one right here but this is the total interest paid you basically take your monthly payment you multiply it by 12 why by 12 because there's 12 months in a year right and then you multiply that by the number of years, right? So that's how you would find out how much you paid the bank, right? This, this all went to the bank. You paid your bank this much over the, let's say 25 years. And this is how much you borrowed. That's the initial amount, okay? And notice that amount borrowed is the price of the home, right? Home value, right? Minus the down payment. Like if you made a down payment, you gotta take that off because you only borrow, right? What is still remaining, what you, the, the amount you still need to cover the rest, okay? Okay, so here is amortization period, the length of time and years that you will need to pay off a mortgage. Equity is the portion of the value of your property that you own. Interest. It's a finance charge, the, the cost of borrowing, same thing. Okay, so cost of borrowing. If you see that, that's also interest. So interest is a finance charge. So it's a charge for them allowing you to take your time to pay it off. It's how much extra you pay to borrow the money. Principal, it's the amount also called the mortgage amount. And here I have to be careful because principal is the amount borrowed like the initial amount that you borrow is also called the principal, okay? But notice that you have to make sure you differentiate between the principal here is the monthly, like for that one, one payment. That's, this is just talking about the one payment, right? But then there's the big amount, the big chunk that you borrow all at once at the very beginning, that $200,000, I'm using 200,000 because it's easier to understand, right? A nice round number. That would also be the principal. And then you keep on knocking off, your payment keeps on, the principal portion of your payment reduces the principal amount that you owe the bank, okay? Unpaid balance, the portion of the value of your property um, that is owed, 
to the financial financial institution. And notice that every month there's a an unpaid balance, a portion that is still remaining after the payment that you still have to uh, pay that is still left, okay? Um, you buy a house worth, uh, this is just to help you understand this, okay? So you buy a house 200,000, there's my 200,000 again, you make a down payment of 20,000. How much is your mortgage? Well, your mortgage is the loan, right? The loan, how much you're actually borrowing. So you'd have to subtract that from 200,000. So it's, this is your mortgage, just how much you would borrow. What is the equity in your property? Like at the very beginning, you actually have $20,000 of equity because you've paid that down. Okay, so if you were to sell it like right the next day, you would, well, in theory, you would get your 20,000 back. You can't just get out of a, a contract just like that. And we'll talk about that as well. Uh, what is the unpaid balance? In this case, it's 180,000 as well. Now, if an, a month goes by and you make a payment, like right now, you notice that these two are exactly the same. But after the first month, this will go down to 179,000 and something, right? You, you'll, you'll knock it down a little bit. So that unpaid balance goes down slowly, right? Types of mortgages. You have a closed mortgage, a mortgage which uh, does not. I pause it because it's a little bit, a little controversial here, okay? And the good news is you don't really need to worry about this a whole lot. But there are two types of mortgages. Uh, primarily, there are closed mortgages. You you lock in. You lock in for right X number of years. It could be six months too, by the way. But the banks have like a I don't know if you've ever noticed they have a one-year rate, a two-year rate, a three, a four, a five. Most of them go up to five. That means that you're closed. Like if I, which I did about a year and a half ago, if I go and say, okay, I want to lock this in. I want to lock in my mortgage for five years. That means that if you want to break that, that contract, it's going to cost you. There's going to be a penalty attached to that because you said no for five years i'm gonna keep that interest rate you're locking in for that specific interest rate right um you lock in for x number of years at a specified interest rate meaning just so you understand the interest rates fluctuate all the time they go up they go down, right? Um, and if you close and you lock in for X number of years at a specific rate, okay? Because every, if you lock in for five years, you know, that means that you're locking in for five years, you will get like a, let's say an interest rate of 3.5%. If you lock in for four years, you might get a little bit of a lower interest rate and so forth. But if you're locking in, you're stuck with it. It doesn't matter if tomorrow they announce that the interest rate is now 2.5%. It doesn't matter. Like you're locked at 3.5. So that's primarily what I need you to understand. Uh, uh, that That's a closed mortgage. An open mortgage, the name says it all, open. So what that means is if the interest rate goes up, right? Um, interest rate changes as the market changes. So I apologize for that fill in because it's a little controversial. Uh, every bank does it a little different, but it, and what's the benefit of an open mortgage? Well, let's say you get uh, like a big inheritance for some reason and you're able to completely pay off your mortgage, you can go and just pay it off without penalties. Okay, we're gonna run out of time on this video, so I'm gonna make another one, and we'll actually do some math on that one.